Well, thanks for viewing our orientation safety video uh, for the Adopt a Highway project. Uh, this is a project put on by the Anoka Ramsey Community College Phi Theta Kappa chapter at the Coon Rapids campus. Um, it's going to be four parts to this video. Um, traffic is your nemesis. Um, basically some safety hints for yourself to be aware of. Um, things to avoid, things to report, and a couple helpful hints. Uh, so let's get started. The first section is about traffic. It's one of the most important things uh, that you need to keep in mind uh, to be safe about while you're doing highway cleanup. And so here are some things to keep in mind. Traffic is by far the number one danger for adopt a highway. Look for traffic more than you look for trash. Don't walk with your head down. If your section includes a guardrail, do not walk or clean on the traffic side of the guardrail. Look for, look for, look for traffic more than you look for trash. This section could be titled, The Clothes Make the Man, or Woman, or Adopter, for that matter. Um, it deals mostly with what types of clothes and other safety things like that. Uh, shirt, pants, sunglasses, sunscreen to keep in mind while you're cleaning up. It may be strong sun, so think hat, sunglasses, and sunscreen for comfort and protection. Wear long pants, jeans or work pants are great, or a long sleeve shirt. Heavy leather shoes or work boots are recommended. If you have them, wear heavy gloves. Everyone must wear a safety vest. This is mandatory. There is no option. Really. This next section has two parts. The first part is things to avoid to keep you safe while cleaning. And the second is items that we don't pick up that we have to report. Construction sites. Mowing activities. Open water or large gullies and ravines. Poison ivy. Poison oak. Wild parsnip. Just a transitional note. Uh, this isn't something that we would normally pick up anyway, but it is something that we need to report. And that is if you notice any really strange odors, uh, colors, or foams in any water around the site, uh, we need to report that to the Department of Transportation. Report these items using a writing pad or cell phone. Call to one of the project leaders. Heavy, large, or hazardous materials. Larger dead animals. <laughs> Explosives, abandoned barrels, or containers with unknown contents. Meth lab and other drug-related paraphernalia such as propane cylinders, pill residue, pinkish and putty-like, rubber gloves, sheet and pillowcase stained pink or red, Corning or Pyrex containers with rubber hoses attached, some light bulbs that may be hollowed out as a pipe, medicine boxes, respirator masks, rubber hoses and clamps. Note the location using landmark signs and mile marker. Mark the site with a full bag of trash. This last section is helpful hints. Uh, here's a quick trick on how to keep a, an effective carry bag. If you just find a stick about like this long, you just kind of tuck it in the inside lip of the bag and then roll it up like that. You can just carry it with one hand, put stuff in. Go ahead. Report. <laughs>